what's happening everybody jay shock blast here and i i think the uh the elephant in the room finally needs to be addressed uh i am here today to talk about my opinion on the roster for lego marvels the avengers now as you can see i have all the characters here and um it is quite the group of characters and um you know I have been pretty vocal about a couple characters that are missing, namely Deadpool and uh, Spider-Man. And, you know, there's a lot of characters on here that I'm like, really? I mean, okay. And um, I just wanted to kind of clear the air and talk about why I feel the way that I do. Um, and, you know, what we would potentially do that could be a little bit different, you know. I guess my biggest frustration, and actually, before I say that, I want to say that everything that I have to say is is said completely out of love and respect for the game. Uh, do not skip this game because of the roster, because I guarantee you that you're going to find at least three or four characters that you had no idea who were, and you're going to really enjoy playing as them, and that's obviously what it's all about for for this game and you know for this franchise and for this series so i'm saying this out of love and admiration i'm not saying it to be a jerk i'm not saying it you know like rudely like i feel like my my criticism and anything i have to say should be viewed as constructive criticism and you know I know what I want. I mean, I'm I'm an adult. I know what I want to do. I love these games, and I want to play as the characters that I want to play as. And I understand that I'm not the only person, okay? I'm not the only person that's playing this game, so I know that there's going to be a lot of choices that are not for me, a.k.a. Squirrel Girl, all right? I, I'm not even mad that that character's in the game, that character should be in the game because she's a member of the Avengers or whatever and you know however you want to address her and, and say she's a part of it but I mean I, I get it she's a popular character and she absolutely belongs in the game and there's no two ways around it and even though that character is not for me you know I can still make fun of her and say everything I know a lot of you scroll girl fans are not happy with it but you know whatever I feel how I feel about the character but there are so many characters that are missing that just don't make sense and and i i love 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 everybody like honestly everybody at tt games is fantastic i think they they have their heart in the right place i don't think that they're intentionally um you know they're intentionally leaving characters out because they're big meanies or anything like that but i mean you know, at the end of the day, I feel like there's some either some uh, transparency that needs to be there or there's some, you know, I, I don't know. I, I feel like they're very receptive and very they communicate very well with the fans. But like, I think the biggest thing that's dividing um, that's it's actually divisive uh, to the, the Lego game fans is the fact that we're all arguing over why Deadpool and Spider-Man are not in the game. Now, my contention is that the TT Games has had every opportunity to say that they are not in the game because of rights and licensing reasons, and they have chosen not to do that. So therefore, I don't believe it was a rights reason. I don't believe it has anything to do with you know them not being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's fine. Most of the characters in this game are not in the MCU. Most of the characters. You know, Detroit Steel isn't. You know, Gargoyle isn't. Firebird isn't. None of these characters are in the MCU. So having Deadpool and Spider-Man in really doesn't... You know, it doesn't make sense to have basically, I would say, two of the five most popular characters in all of Marvel Comics right now, if not the two most popular. Uh, Deadpool, I think, is clearly number one. He's clearly a massive priority for Marvel. One of the arguments I've heard is that, you know, Marvel has tried to de emphasize the X Men and the uh, Fantastic Four to try to get those. 
franchise is back, but they certainly have not de-emphasized Deadpool. Um, I have a fridge full of Mike's Hard Lemonade with Deadpool's picture on it. You know, he's going to have a, a super awesome movie that comes out. Might be the best thing that Fox has ever done. Um, you know, Deadpool is as big... A, and the worst part is, Deadpool is currently a card-carrying member of the Avengers. I mean, it, he belongs in this game. My biggest complaint about the last game is Deadpool is like the last character that you unlock. So you barely get to use him by the time you get to him, you know? Like, uh, maybe you start over your game, maybe you keep playing it, I don't know, but... I feel like I didn't get to use Deadpool that much, and I would have loved to have just had him be an unlockable character. Now, there's a few things that I wonder about, and I'm purely speculating here. I'm not saying that this is definitively what happened, but if you notice, uh, not just with this game, but with pretty much most of the LEGO games lately, uh, they're going heavy on using lines from the movies and not having quite as many voice actors. Now, there are definitely voice actors in this game. You know, Clark Gregg did stuff. Haley Atwell did stuff. I mean, I think we all are aware that, you know, Mark Hamill was involved. Uh, so there are plenty of great voice actors in this game, but I'm just assuming that they decided, you know, Deadpool and Spider-Man were characters that needed, you know, a ton of voice acting, especially where they're both so mouthy. And... I guess I get that, but at the same time, like, I have to feel like they're, they're game sellers, you know? Like, now instead of, you know, having people just happy that they have these characters in the game, and um, part of me would say I would have been happy just to have the characters in the game, even if they had zero lines whatsoever. I know that defeats the purpose of kind of both of them, but, you know, I can also understand, you know, I just don't actually let me take that back. I don't understand how the alternative made sense to them because I'm just speaking for my videos. Like so many people, where's Spider Man? Where's Deadpool? Where's Spider Man? Where's Deadpool? And that's not without that's not with me prompting you guys to say that. It is it is a very, very constant thing and it is something that like they're basically having to deal with. To the point where, you know, if you think about it with Lego Batman 3, they had that free pack that they did right at the end. And, um, you know, they basically gave us a character, a, a few characters for free. Uh, simply because, you know, it's what the fans wanted. And I, I applauded them for that. That was some amazing, you know, fan service, customer service, all of those things. And I'm hoping at some point we get something like that. With just Deadpool and, and Spider-Man, you know, even if there's no voice acting. And I'll tell you what, I'd pay 10 bucks just to play as Deadpool. Like, I would pay 10 bucks for a Deadpool pack of just Deadpool, like, to play as just him. You know, I, like, I, I spent money on this game. I bought it digitally uh, on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I, I bought actual hard copies for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I even spent $30 on a code to try to get the Adventurer pack, and it's just not even working. And I knew that. I knew that was a risk I was taking. Like, I love this game, and I speak out of passion. You know, and yes, I'm a big Deadpool fan, but he is, like... Like, I'm not even a big Spider-Man fan. I know I say that over and over and over again. Um, but, like... They belong in this game. Like, you can't have an Avengers game without Spider-Man. It doesn't make sense. And the MCU things have been resolved. And I understand that there's a development process for this game. So it's not like, you know, the Deadpool joining the Avengers is a thing that just happened. All right? It's not something... He, he was doing some other stuff with the Avengers over the last couple of years. He's been hinted at as, you know, trying to be a part of the Avengers. Stuff like that. It's, it's been there, but, you know, the, the, you could loosely associate him if you wanted to. Um, and I, I just, the biggest thing is I just feel like it would bring so much satisfaction to so many fans. But the thing is, is that they just, they don't have to do it. So, you know, why would they? Um, and, and we're going to buy the game hand over fist anyway. I can appreciate what they did with the roster, okay? There's a lot of characters on here that I think are a joke, all right? And I would never have wanted 
in a million years to see them in a game. I don't understand the purpose of having them in the game. Like, this one right here, uh, well, alright, yeah, this one right here, Gorilla Girl. I don't get it. Like, I don't understand her. I don't understand her appeal. I've barely even heard of her. Uh, but I was actually going for uh, Demolition Man. Like, like, and it's not even a good version of Demolition Man. I, I realized who he was after uh, a couple people commented. And, like, he usually wears, like, a Wolverine costume. And they have a maskless so as not to associate him with, like, a Wolverine. So it's, like, it's kind of just funny, you know? Like... I understand why they didn't use the, the Netflix version of these characters. That's fine. But, like, it's not even just, you know, Spider-Man and Deadpool. There are so many characters that are missing that were Avengers at some point or another. And I'll tell you, part of it might be that they're holding them back for the DLCs. Now, if you're not aware, they've already announced the DLC packs for this game. Okay, so stop holding out hope for Guardians of the Galaxy DLC. It's not happening. There's not going to be Deadpool or Spider-Man DLC as of yet, okay? Even though a Spider-Verse DLC and a Deadpool Core DLC would be... Like, I would I would spend 20 bucks for each one. Like, honestly, you guys have to consider something like that because those would be so much fun. I understand there's going to be more LEGO games in the future, but, like, I just... The biggest reason why I, I don't believe it's a rights issue is because I read a quote from Arthur. I think he even saw the interview. Uh, Arthur Parsons, the uh, I think he's the creative director, like the the big wig, the big man, the big boss man uh, when it comes to this stuff. The authority, if you will. Uh, great guy, by the way. Like super interactive with all the fans. I don't. I try to leave him alone personally. Um, but, you know, every t every once in a while, you know, I do tweet at him. Mostly, you know, Deadpool jokes. Uh, I've definitely uh, sent him a few Deadpool references um, and maybe even Darkhawk. But, um, you know, the, the thing that I, I always, I will never forget, and the reason why I don't think it's a rights issue is is mostly because... He said something once, like, we already did that as when it comes to Deadpool, and we want to try, we wanted to do something else. Now, I understand, and I appreciate wanting to do something else, but it's Deadpool, okay? Like, it's freaking Deadpool, alright? I, I, th that's literally all I have to say, is it's Deadpool. A character that's only going to become more popular with the movie coming out, and again, I understand... That's not their priority. Um, I'm looking for Hawkeye. Sorry. Um, that's not their priority. I, I totally get that. But, you know, I just don't understand how you leave out a character like that, you know? Like, it's a character that that's just... He brings a lot of excitement to the game. Now, I'm not saying you had to make him a focal point like you did the last time with the red bricks and all that stuff. Just have him there you know i think i think everybody would have been happy if he was just there as a playable character or even if there was a way to just create him on our own you know hell just throw throw his suit in the character creator and let us all just create him we don't need we don't need voiceover we don't need any of that but i digress deadpool is hardly spider-man they're hardly the only characters that just boggle my mind as to how they're not in the game now there's going to be dlc like i mentioned uh, we've got Doctor Strange is getting a DLC pack. Captain Marvel is getting a DLC pack. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Ant-Man, Masters of Evil, and um, Black Panther. So you look at that, and there are just there are characters that you can instantly say, all right, well, maybe they're saving you know those characters for those games. And those characters include... Captain Marvel and not just Miss Marvel because as you see we have Miss Marvel Carol Danvers but didn't we have her in last game if you're going to do a Captain Marvel DLC why not hold her out altogether? Um, because we have Miss Marvel Kamala Khan and as far as I'm concerned that's good enough um, I mean if you're going to do a DLC for Captain Marvel I just feel like you're wasting a spot that you could have used on a different character and, and the same thing goes, um, and, and I'm hoping, let me take that back. I'm hoping that, you know, we get, you know, a couple versions of Captain Marvel. Marvel, 
you know, the actual, you know, male version of Captain Marvel. Uh, maybe we get him in a couple different costumes. Um, I'm hoping we get, obviously, the Carol Danvers Captain Marvel. Um, I, I would love it if they could sneak Darkhawk in there, which, to be honest with you, um, if you look at it, they already are halfway there. Like, Mach 5 is almost Darkhawk. They can almost pull it off. And I understand there's a lot of people that say, oh, who's Darkhawk? But, you know, it's a character that they've definitely tried bringing back a few times. He was in Avengers Arena. Um, you know, all that stuff. So, it's definitely... A, and, and he's the perfect character for this game. You can have him, you know, turn into a big fig. Kind of like uh, the, the mechanical suits that, you know, um, Hulkbuster and stuff like that. Because that's part of his power set. So, like, that's part of the reason why I was just kind of disappointed about Darkhawk. But there's a few other ones, um, you know, that I can see slipping in. Like Wonder Man. You know, Grim Reaper's in the game and Wonder Man is his brother. He's been both an Avenger and a Master of Evil. So, I would expect that they're going to sneak uh, him into the Masters of Evil. Same thing for Black Knight and Radioactive Man and Enchantress. Um, and Baron Zemo like those are all characters that you know I thought hey, you know Why aren't these guys in the game, but you know if they're gonna do a Masters of Evil DLC All right fine you held them out of this game. That's cool, you know uh, Whatever so but there's not just that there's like there's so many other characters and, and why do they choose like certain members of the Young Avengers and not others? You know they have they could have had stature Cassie Lang uh, they could have had Iron Lad. Um, I think there's like one other uh, Young Avenger that's missing, and they like, oh, uh, they're the Young Avenger version of Vision. So I mean, there's a few, few different ones there that are missing. Um, then there's tons of newer Avengers that just popped up, you know, in the last year. And I'm not talking like right now because Marvel's done a few different switcheroos on us. But right around the time that, you know, they've got Jane Foster, the imposter, as Thor, and stuff like that, you start seeing the Avengers kind of shift up. So you've got Captain Marvel and, and Jane Foster, the imposter, in here. So why can't we get, you know, Angela or Medusa? Or especially if you're not going to put Peter Parker in the game, you know, Miles Morales. It doesn't make sense because they're all current Avengers, you know? Um... There's so many characters that, that got left out, you know, like, and I know a lot of them have, like, other ties to other, other areas, you know, but, you know, there's, you know, Starbrand and Manifold and Smasher, Speedball, who could also have been Penance, that would have been dope, um, there's Cannonball, there's, you know, um, so many new Avengers that they created, um, there's, oh, I can't think of the guy's name now. Uh, he had the horns. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, just, he was part of that whole newer Infinity line. He was like the, him and his sister, like, created worlds and stuff like that. Can't think of his name off the top of my head, but, you know. And, like, there's a lot of other characters that, all right, they're mostly associated with other groups, but they've also been Avengers, like Wolverine and, and the entire Fantastic Four and Beast. And, you know, so many others, but, like, you know, there's Hercules. Hercules isn't even in the game. You know, there's Sunspot. I don't know. I might have already said him. Spectrum, who is somebody that they've been focusing on recently. You know, she's been a million different characters over the years. So, I mean, there's so many good characters that got left out that are just, I don't know, it feels a little incomplete. But I can appreciate what they tried to do by putting a lot of these characters in. Mighty Destroyer is an awesome looking character. I had no idea who this character was. And I really enjoy the way he, he looks and you know what he does. There's, there's a few characters like that. Lightspeed's another one. No idea who this character was. And, and I just enjoy playing with the character. You know, So I, I do appreciate and respect what they tried to do. I just... I don't understand how you leave out some of the big guns, you know, like Star Fox. You've got Thanos in the game and not Star Fox. Again, that could be a Captain Marvel DLC. I don't know. Because um, obviously they're going to have about eight characters in each DLC pack. Um, I, the, it just 
it's a bitter pill to swallow hearing oh we've already done deadpool and we don't we we don't want to go that route and then you see people like absorbing man who's already been in the game and you see the wizard who is already in the game and you know they could have very easily switched the wizard for like kang or you know annihilus or whiplash whiplash isn't even in the game you know um, and I don't know, or the Wrecking Crew, the whole Wrecking Crew, any of those characters, I would have had, I would have put the whole Wrecking Crew in the game over Wizard and Absorbing Man, and there's a couple other bad guys that have already been in the game. Oh, um, Leader. Like, I understand that those are some, some popular, um, some pop popular villains over the years, but you already did them too, you know? So, there's a few other things that I just... I'm gonna. I'll cover them in my disappointing characters uh, video. I have a top ten, already prepared top ten most uh, least favorite or disappointing characters, aka not Deadpool's in the game. Um, and I'll I'll save some of my my criticism on the way they design the characters for that because I feel it's somewhat lazy. But um, alas, um, I want to say. Obviously, I've ranted and raved about Deadpool and Spider-Man. I make that fight for you guys. There's not, there's no Spider-Gwen in this game. Spider-Gwen might be the most, the biggest and baddest thing in Marvel Comics right now. Like, she's so popular, they made a Gwenpool. Ironic, because that's Spider-Man and, and, and Deadpool, again. They put Spider-Man and Deadpool together in a comic, like... And I, I guarantee you it's selling, like, boatloads. Because I don't even buy comic books anymore. Like, I've never bought single issues. I've always been a graphic novel guy. But I bought issue one of that series because I had to I had to know. Like, they're... They're... That sucks. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, apropos for <laughs> making a video where you're railing on stuff. Um, I it just totally made me lose my train of thought, guys. I, I'm doing this all in one shot here. I'm not doing a voiceover over gameplay. I'm playing the game while recording the video. Um, so I guess I kind of made my point. I, I would feel better about no Deadpool, no Spider-Man if they came out and outright said it's a rights issue. If it's a rights issue and it wasn't allowed, I'm still upset, but not at that. More at Marvel. It doesn't make sense. But at the same time, all I have to go off of is personal choices by the people that made the game. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, there were some good choices, and there was a lot of good choices. And I want to just establish this is a 10 out of 10 game for me, even with a disappointing roster. Like, this game is amazing. I do not regret owning it. I don't regret buying it twice. I don't regret... I would... If you told me that Walmart had some special DLC that gave me one other character, I would go there right now and pick it up. Like, I adore these games. And I, I'm, again, speaking this out of pure passion that... You know, this is, you know, this is definitely, I, I just wish that some of these characters that are more popular were in here. I don't begrudge them wanting to bring attention to the initiative or young Avengers or, you know, Avengers Academy or any of those series. It's just, there's so many current things going on, even dating back a year ago that would have made more sense, you know? Like, um, they had Avengers Arena. You could have had Arcade in this game. And I don't know how you incorporate Arcade. I hope I didn't lose all my progress there. I don't think I did. Um, but, um, you know, I understand that, you know, you're not going to make everybody happy. Everybody's going to have the characters that they want. I, I grant that, all right? It just seems to me that leaving out two of the most popular characters in all of the Marvel Universe that are card-carrying members of the Avengers is bad form. And 
There's lots of other characters like uh, even even if it was my again I know I already said this but even if it was Miles Morales and not um, Peter Parker, I would have been okay with it because that character belongs in this game. That character is a priority. So I know that the folks at TT work hard on this. I appreciate them. I'm not. I think some people get confused that when I when I rant rant like this that I hate something and it's not like that at all. I I have virtually every Lego game that's been made. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes I have for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. Uh, I think I almost bought the Wii U version and I don't even have a Wii U. I just wanted to have it sitting there. So I mean I just I know what I want personally. And I know reading all your comments, like, I'm getting, you know, like, the day the game came out, I had, like, over 250,000, you know, views, okay? And, you know, it's, I've had over a million views on my videos in the last couple of days. I, I read as many comments as I can, and I know I'm not alone in this. Everybody's looking for Spider-Man, everybody's looking for Deadpool, and I just kind of feel like it's a, a miscalculation. And the lowest blow of them all, <laughs> like, and I, notice I didn't even mention anything about X Men or Fantastic Four or Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are all characters I would love to have in the game too. But I get that the vibe. Oh, look at that! Flash in the X, kicking the balls. And next he's gonna do the Spider Man thing. Watch, watch what he does, Spider Man. Ready? Oh no, nope, X Men. He's going to do his Spider-Man. I didn't mention any of those characters because I get the vibe of what they're trying to do. They're trying to do an Avengers-themed game. So, fine. I There's so many that are left out, you know? Just so many. Like, Spider-Woman. I, like, I have a whole list that I didn't even read everybody. And some of them are, are corny characters. And I probably would have called them corny if they choose, chose them, too. Like, um, the Two-Gun Kid in Wizard... And U.S. Agent, Living Lightning, and um, Dr. Druid. Um, you know, I'm just kind of going down my list that I wrote. Um, you know, like Rage, Stingray, you know, uh, 3D Man. There's just, there's some characters that are like, eh, alright, whatever. And I apologize to, uh, I think Dennis out there is a big 3D Man fan. And I apologize not throwing them under the bus, but you know, there's just so many good characters, but even with this roster that we're dealt with right here, okay, even with this roster right here and the promise of DLC to come, I mean, spoiler alert on my review that I'll eventually do, this is a 10 out of 10 game. This game is phenomenally fun, okay? Using the characters that you have at your disposal here, this game is a blast. It's the best Lego game ever made. I just wish that Deadpool and Spider-Man were here to enjoy it. So, a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what I thought about it. I know a lot of people are complaining about the roster. Um, and you should. But, at the end of the day, I understand they're not going to make everybody happy. I don't expect them to just especially those two and a couple others that I mentioned. I really just wish there was a way to get them into the game. I really do. I really feel like it's a disservice to all the hard work that they put in. If they weren't available to them because of Marvel, I wish they could just come out and outright say that. But throughout the whole process, the Deadpool and Spider-Man question has come up every single time, every single day. Every single convention, everywhere. It's always been there, and it's always going to be there. I just feel like it would have made life a lot easier if they found a way to get them into the game. But that is me, and I'm always willing to fight the good fight, and I made this whole video without even railing for Darkhawk extensively. I still think he's the best character not in the game, other than Deadpool and Spider-Man. I still hope and pray to get him in the game, um, but... You know, again, that's a personal choice, and most of you are like, dark who? Anyway, please be respectful in the comments if you're going to criticize. 
um, because I, I know people worked hard on this game, and I do appreciate it. Uh, but I'd love to know what you guys think. So uh, let me know, and I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I hope that I helped. I hope that if the guys at TT or any of them listen, you know, they hear my passion more than anything. It's passion. I'm speaking from passion. I'm not speaking from agitation or anger. Like, I'm speaking from this is one of the things that I enjoy doing more than anything else. Like, I am... My girlfriend is not a video game person. And, you know, she's a high school teacher. She comes over and grades papers and watches me watches me play and wants to play. And that's amazing to me. That's what this game can do to people, you know? And uh, I just missed opportunities, you know? I just really... Hopefully in the next game, you know, you're, you're going to bring them back. But I just wish there was a clear cut here's why we didn't do it and if if it's because you just felt like doing other characters i can never agree with that so i've said my piece a million times um i'm gonna try to make this the end all be all of me complaining about the roster and also complimenting the roster again there's there's some really cool characters speed is a really cool character you know um these are characters that I would have never really thought I would care about. Fin Fang Foom is quite possibly one of the coolest characters in any Lego game. I even was kind of like, you know, shrugging my shoulders at Devil Dinosaur. But as it turns out, Devil Dinosaur is so much fun to play with. You know, like, there's so many characters that I thought, you know, eh, whatever. Like, even Korvac. Like, I didn't even think Korvac was going to excite me. Even though he's a major part of the Avengers lore. Like, I was just like, eh, whatever, I don't care. And he's one of the most useful characters in the game. And, you know, there's just, like, Captain Universe is, is the exact type of character, kind of like a Starbrand and a Manifold and, and Smasher and Speedball and, um, you know, some of those newer Avengers that were involved during, like, Infinity and, you know, um, or Original Sin and all that stuff. Um... You know, and and I understand where characters like Happy Hogan and Harley Keener and you know those type of characters have to be in the game. I get it. I totally do. I'm not complaining about them. But alas, I know how to make uh, a 10 minute video turn into 30. So uh, please again, be respectful in the comments. I know some of you comment as you listen, but um, that's how I feel. And. Uh, I'm going to get on to more positivity, uh, more positive videos, except the disappointing ones. And, uh, hey, we'll see.